Hi everyone, welcome to the RPV Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on biomolecules. In, in that particularly we will discuss the carbohydrates. Now in this session we will discuss the like a carbohydrates and naming. How to identify the naming of carbohydrate through the simple trick. So before going to that we will discuss the like a Haworth projection of fractals. In previous uh, lesson I have discussed about um, like a Haworth projection and the cyclic chain projection about a glucose structure. Now in this session we will discuss the fractal structure Haworth projection. Now we know that uh, here it is the like a simple CH2OH OH H H OH OH H H. This is the fractose structure. This is the fractose structure. Now here ketone functionality is there. So now here it is nothing but a fractose. So especially it is a defractose. Especially it is defractose. Now here the fifth carbon atom will attack over the like a second carbonyl compound. Second carbon atom of the carbonyl compound. Now here it forms the this type of compound. Okay, now here it is the carbonyl compound, fifth compound, here it is CH2OH. These oxygen lone pairs will attack over there, then it forms the, like this type of uh, five-membered cyclic ring. Now here, five-membered cyclic ring which came from the furan, that's why it is called as furanose structures. That's why it is called as furanose structures. Now here, it forms the two types of isomer. So, however, the nucleophilic attack of the oxygen lone pairs attack over the electrophilic center, it gives the two types of isomer. So, if nucleophile, it will be, if attack the back side, then OH is the right side. So, if o, uh, nucleophile attack over the like a uh, front side of the atom, now OH appears to the left side. That means here it forms the two types of isomer. Now here, here OH right side, CH2OH left side. So, the remaining thing are same. Okay, so this is the like uh, one isomer, OH, H, H, H. OH H. Again another isomer if OH is right, left side CH2OH is right side. Now here it forms the like another isomer OH H H2OH like here H oxygen CH2OH. So if OH is right side then it is called alpha isomer. So OH is left side then it is nothing but a beta isomer. Okay, now here it is alpha anomer, it is beta anomer. How do you convert these alpha and beta anomers into their Haworth projection? So Haworth projection here it forms the five membered ring. So the five membered rings are always presented the like a furanose structures, furanose type structures. Here it is the furan, it forms the like a uh, like a oses, uh, like our uh, carbohydrates, that's why it is a furanose structure. Now in this case, oxygen atom present on the like a mid of the pentagon, mid of the Pentagon. Now here we know that Lord rule. According to the Lord rule, we will write the like half of the projection of the uh, fractose derivatives. Now Lord that means the left up, right down, left up, right down. Now here OH is right side. The nanomeric carbon OH is in bottom. Okay, right side atom is bottom side. CH two OH. Now the second carbon atom OH is left side that indicates upside. So third one right side that is a low, uh, downside. Now the next one is if D isomer, D isomer, CH2OH always present at the top, L isomer, CH2OH present at the bottom. So now here both are D isomers, alpha D fracto or beta D fracto fructose derivatives. Okay. Now both are D, that's why CH2OH always present at the top of the position. Now here it is the beta isomer. So in case of beta isomer, the change is OH is upside, CH2OH is downside. Now here HOH. H O H like here H C H two O H. These are the D isomers. So now these alpha isomer can written like this due to the like a Haworth projection. Now here these alpha isomer can also write the like sorry this is the beta isomer can also write the these in the form of a Haworth projection. So these are the like representations of ketone ketones in their uh, Haworth projections. Now let us go through the very simple trick to find the naming of carbohydrates. Okay, now let us continue the very simple trick to find the any type of carbohydrate either in the Haworth projection or in the chair conformation or in the like Emil Fisher model. However, the compound they are given, we will easily write the naming of the carbohydrate compound. Okay, now let us start the like uh, our noun compound that is uh, glucose. We don't know whether it is glucose or not. H O H O H H H O H 
HOH. Okay, this is the compound. We don't know the naming of compound, whether it is glucose or uh, glucose or altose or altose, galactose, mannose, we don't know. But a very simple trick, I'll give you a very simple trick to find the this type of uh, compounds nomenclature. Now we know that uh, first one it is glyceraldehyde. So if glyceraldehyde it gives the two types of isomer uh, different at uh, different of the one chiral center, erythrose and threose. Er again it, it gives the like a uh, raxel, that means uh, ribose, arbenose, xylose, lysose. Here it is the aldo pentose. Now again, aldo hexoses will give the eight isomers. Those are the like first two are AA. The, again, the next three having the first letter G G G. That indicates glucose, glucose, galactose. Glucose, glucose, galactose. Now the next one G M. That is mannose. G I iodose. Uh, now G P talose. Okay. Uh, allose, altose, glucose, mannose, glucose, iodose, galactose, talose. This is the isomers. Okay. Now, so with the help of this simple tree, like it is a very simple tree diagram, with the help of this tree diagram, we will find the every each and every compound nomenclature. Now, let us go through the first example. Okay. So, first of all, we will go through the bottom chiral center. Bottom chiral center. So, the bottom chiral center, which is equal to the like a B isomer, then we will go through that. Otherwise, if L isomer is there, then L isomer can be represented at the area, mirror image form then converted into d form then only we will go through the like this tree manner now here hoh bottom bottom atom is uh, glucose uh, that is uh, it seems to be glyceraldehyde part so that's why it is glyceraldehyde family undoubtedly it is glyceraldehyde that is especially d glyceraldehyde family now next, uh, going to the next carbon next to the chiral center next chiral center if oh is right side then go for the then select the left side uh, left side carbohydrate if oh is right side then select the left side if oh is left side then select the right side atom okay now here oh is right side then we select the left side atom that's why so here it it, it belongs to the like uh, erythrose family not the like this type of family these are wrong okay now again next most carbon that is left side of the oh that is left side then we will select the right side atom so these three are also wrong okay again the final chiral center so it is the right side then we select the left side so that indicates uh, glucose so the name of compound is glucose very easier trick to uh, find the, these type of uh, compounds nomenclature now let us go through the another example let us uh, examine yourself so what is the name of compound we don't know the compound uh, but uh, and with the help of these three model, we will easily find the like naming of these carbohydrates. Okay, now here so the bottom chiral center, which is closer to the like a glyceraldehyde, it is a raxel, AA, GM, GI, GT. Okay, so the bottom one is uh, closer to the glyceraldehyde. Next most is left side. Then we select the right side. Next most is left side. Again, we will select the right side. Okay, now the remaining things are wrong. Now the next one is the right side, we will select the left side, that is nothing but a galactose, that is nothing but a galactose. So with the help of this type of Hemil Fisher representation, we will easily find the IUPAC, like, sorry, not the IUPAC, that's commercial names of the carbohydrates. Now in case they are given in the like this type of cyclic structures, so how do you find the this type of cyclic structures uh, nomenclature? Okay, in case of cyclic structures, we are bothered about uh, the naming of those compounds. So whenever we observe these type of molecules, uh, whether it is glucose or galactose or mannose, we don't know. Okay, so such times, uh, such type, uh, so some of the reactions maybe it represented based on the their uh, IUPAC names or uh, positions, the axial and equatorial positions. They are uh, preferable reactions. They are, sometimes they are preferred uh, like a particular positions, particular compounds, particular isomers. That time it it may be required. The the particular name of the compounds in case of cyclic structures we will go through the like a, a very easier method to find the cyclic structure compounds here they are given in the like a cyclic structure that is a how the projection so here it is oh is right side oh is upside left upper that means a uh, left side that is upside so left up that indicates here it is the beta beta anomer undoubtedly it is beta anomer h o h h o h c h 2 o h Okay, so now what we need to remember this type of uh, naming of these compounds. So first of all, at uh, oxygen attached carbon, the right side carbon, that is first carbon. If first carbon OH is bottom side, then it is alpha, uh, alpha anomer. OH is bottom or 
right side oh is right side in emil fisher model bottom side in avat projection then it is alpha next beta ya number oh is upside oh is upside so this is the two points measure points which required okay again here ch2 oh ch2 oh at the fifth carbon atom ch2 oh upside then it is d isomer so ch2 oh is downside then it is l isomer okay so whenever we will observe the molecule so here it is the d isomer here it is the l isomer whenever we will observe the, those type of uh, positions then easily we will uh, say about uh, like whether it is a d isomer or a l isomer okay now here it is the d isomer so whenever in the presence of acidic medium so here it obstructs the proton like in acidic medium it, it, it produces the protons now here in the presence of proton here it undergoes the like a keto enol tautomerism again it forms the these type of oh now here aldehyde now here it forms the aldehyde so this is the compound the remaining rest of the things are same okay so whenever these type of compounds can write uh, like in a emil fisher model so here four chiral centers are there i think here four chiral centers one two three four in cyclic forms five chiral centers in like open shape form four chiral centers only so that four chiral centers uh, will uh, like uh, with the help of load rule we will uh, we will Place the OH groups whether it is right side or left side. Now here it is the first one. So the second carbon, second most carbon. So the second carbon, OH is the downside. That indicates uh, down indicates right uh, left uh, according to our load rule, left up, right down. Down positions are uh, right side. So OH is right side. Again, the second position also uh, bottom that is right side. Again, the fourth is upside that indicates uh, left side. The next one is D isomer. D isomer indicates H O H. H left side O H right side. That is the D isomer. So this is the compound. We don't know the naming of these compounds. Whether it is, it seems to be glucose, but uh, it is not a glucose structure. So with the help of our previous trick, we will easily find the like a uh, this type of molecule names. Okay, now first of all, here it is closer to the D family, the D glyceraldehyde. Next most, uh, next most chiral center left side, then we select the right side. Next most chiral center is right side, then we select the left side. Next most chiral center is uh, like a right side, then we will select the left side atom. That is uh, the compound name is gulose. That is especially it is D gulose. D gulose. This is the like a nomenclature of first compound. Now let us uh, examine the like a second example. OH, H, OH, 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 like a CH2 OH. Again, here it is open up. Now, here it forms OH, here it is the carbonyl compound. So, here also four chiral centers CH2 OH. Now, here the first chiral center OH is upside that indicates left side. The second is downside that is right side. Next one is the downside that is also right side. The final one is HCH2. CH2 OH is bottom side. So, that indicates here it is the L isomer. So L isomer means like OH is left side, H is the right side, that is the, okay. Now here, this is the compound. So generally it is a L isomer. So L isomers, our rule is not applicable. Whenever we will get the L isomers, then we will uh, like convert the, the corresponding D isomer. After writing the D isomer, we will easily find the name, nomenclature of those compound, particular compound. Now here, H, OH, OH, H, OH, H, OH, H, H, OH, H. OH. So this is the compound. So according to our rule, get triaxal AA GM GI GT. GM GI GT. Now here the bottom most carbon is glycerol here. Next most is left side, then we will select the right side. Next most is also left side, then we will select the right side. The next most is a right side that indicates we will select the a left side atom that is the indicates left side atom i think we are already uh, we will already find this type of molecule that is nothing but a galactose so here it is the d galactose but what we need what we get it is a l l isomer that's why here we will get the l galactose molecule l galactose molecule these are the very simple trick to uh, identify the naming of uh, carbohydrates such as in different forms whether uh, how the projection or cyclic projection or chair confirmation now before going to the like uh, before 
<coughs> going to the another topic, uh, we will deal with uh, like uh, these type of uh, Emil Fisher models can uh, write the beta anomer. Sometimes uh, we will write the beta anomers or alpha anomers uh, for our practice. Okay. Now, so sometimes uh, uh, for our practice, we will we will draw the like beta anomers in different different forms. Okay. Now they are given in this type of compound. Uh, whenever we will observe the molecule, that is the altruose molecule, mm -hmm. the altruose molecule. So here the D-altruose molecule cyclic chain is. So here it is the Avath projection. So here it is the like HOH alpha anomer, alpha anomer. The second position is OH is the left side, left side that indicates upside. So the next one is right side down. The next one is right side down. Again, it is the D isomer. So D isomer means uh, CH2OH is always top. CH2OH is always top. This is the Havath projection of D altruose. Whenever this type of molecule can written like a cyclic chain conformation, here it is the cyclic chain. The first position is uh, alpha isomer that is downside OH downside. Again, the second one is uh, upside that indicates uh, like here upside OH. The third one is a downside here it is the downside. The fourth one is also downside that is also downside. The next one is uh, CH2OH is upside. So CH2OH is upside. So this is the cyclic chain conformation of the these type of compounds. So sometimes they are asking about like a, a beta like a beta anomers so here the change is OH glycosidic OH is changed now here it is axial position here it is the equatorial position the remaining things are same OH 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 okay that's all for this video this is very uh, helpful for the like a uh, uh, representation or uh, identifying the now naming of carbohydrate molecules thank you for watching